Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Clay Thompson to Mavs, see success in numbers as Magical Warriors era ends. The end of an era has arrived in the Bay Area. Free agent Clay Thompson plans to join the Dallas Mavericks on a three-year, $50 million deal, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reported Monday. The move marks the end of not only the Splash Brothers era for the Golden State Warriors, but also the end of one of the most successful big three in the history of the NBA in Thompson, Steph Curry, and Saginaw native and former Michigan State star Draymond Green. The numbers the three compiled with the Warriors are staggering. In total, the trio played in 720 games together, winning four NBA championships in six appearances, 98 playoff games in 23 playoff series and 420 regular season games. They made 19 combined All-Star games and Curry won two NBA MVP awards. The trio also set the best regular season record of 73-9 in 2015-16, breaking the 1995-96 Chicago Bulls record of 72-10. Thompson, 34, is a five-time All-Star who is one of the greatest shooters in NBA history. Before hitting free agency, Thompson was the second-longest tenured player with his current team since 2011, behind only Curry. Curry and Warriors coach Steve Kerr both expressed a desire to have Thompson return after the Warriors were eliminated in the play-in tournament in April, but that won't be the case. Green, who has had a slew of on-court issues in recent seasons, was given a four-year contract extension worth $100 million last summer. Curry's and Kerr's deals will keep them with the team through the 2025-26 season. The Golden State Warriors' struggles have been clear this season. At 36-34 and in 10th place as of March 26, the Warriors have to figure things out in the near future if they want to secure a playoff spot. For a team that's used to winning championships, fighting for a spot in the playoffs wasn't expected. Draymond Green revealed the reason for the struggles this season, speaking on the Warriors' bad habits. We lose a lot of games that we should win. In this league, you have to win the games you're supposed to win and steal a few that you're not supposed to win. But if you lose the ones you're supposed to win, you're in for a long year. If you lose the games you're supposed to win, you're in for a long year. Draymond discusses the Warriors' bad habits. The Warriors are just a half game ahead of the Houston Rockets for the final spot in the Western Conference play-in tournament. Golden State plays the Rockets on April 4, a game that could be the deciding factor in the season. Warriors issue heartfelt statement on Clay Thompson's exit. He Clay Thompson era officially ended on July 1 after the Golden State Warriors agreed to a sign-in trade which sent one of their beloved icons to the Dallas Mavericks on July 1. Shortly after the deal was announced, the Warriors issued a heartfelt message to Thompson, their homegrown star who was a key member of their dynasty that defined the team over the last 10 years. We can't overstate Clay Thompson's incredible and legendary contributions with the Warriors during his 13 years with the team, highlighted by four, four, NBA championships, six, six, trips to the NBA Finals, five, five, NBA All-Star Game appearances, and several NBA records, including the most points ever scored in a quarter in NBA history, 37 and the most three-point field goals in a game, 14, the team statement said. Thompson agreed to a three-year, $50 million deal to join the Mavericks, according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, which was less in annual average salary than the Warriors' offer last offseason which he declined. The Warriors received two future second-round picks and a trade exception without absorbing additional salaries in return. The Mavericks absorbed Thompson into their their $16.1 million trade exception, created by the Tim Hardaway Jr. deal with the Detroit Pistons. The tension between Thompson and the Warriors has been brewing since last year's negotiation. According to NBA insider Mark Stein, Thompson felt disrespected as the Warriors only offered him half of what Draymond Green received. 
Thompson was offered a two-year extension in the $50 million range by the Warriors before last season, but passed on that pitch and is said to have come away from the offer feeling disrespected mere months after Green was re-signed to a four-year, $100 million pact, Stein wrote in his Substack newsletter on June 29. The tension over their failed extension talk last year hung a dark cloud above Thompson and the Warriors last season. It was evident in Thompson's shooting slump and his angst-filled interviews throughout his struggles. Despite their breakup, the Warriors hope the fans will remember Thompson at his peak. The amount of joy and happiness that Clay provided Warriors fans, Bay Area natives, and Dub Nation supporters all around the world has been immense and cannot be minimized. His penchant for delivering in pressurized situations on the biggest stage, including many Game 6 heroics, has helped define a career, the statement said. The Warriors vow to retire Thompson's jersey when all is said and done in his illustrious career. Clay's legacy will live on forever and we look forward to the day we can retire his number 11 jersey at Chase Center, where he will join a host of Warriors immortals, including those who helped shape this recent dynasty, himself included, the statement continued. Thompson joins a Mavericks team featuring the Luka Doncic-Kyrie Irving duo which led the team to the NBA Finals last season. He will go to Dallas as a complimentary third star, hoping a fresh start with the Mavericks will reinvigorate his career similar to Irving. We thank Clay for his contributions and wish him the best as another chapter in his journey is written, the team statement ended. Warriors to sign to Anthony Melton, report. According to Shams Charania of The Athletic, the Warriors plan to sign guard to Anthony Melton with their newfound cap flexibility. With the reported departures of Clay Thompson and Chris Paul, the Warriors became eligible to use the $12.8 million non-taxpayer mid-level exception. They're expected to use it all on Melton. Melton, 26, is a defensive-minded point guard who has shot 36.9% from three in his career. Back issues limited him to 38 games for the 76ers last year, but he has historically been durable. The 6'2 Los Angeles native averaged 11.1 points, 3.0 assists, and 1.6 steals per game last year. Melton made an impact during the 2022 playoffs against the Warriors when he was with the Grizzlies, the team with which he established himself. In that Western Conference semifinals, Melton averaged 7.8 points, 4.0 rebounds, 1.3 steals, and 0.8 blocks per game. With the Warriors, Melton should fit as a backup point guard with the additional ability to play alongside Steph Curry. Curry, Brandon Podziemski, Gary Payton II, and Moses Moody currently make up Golden State's backcourt depth chart, with Payton and Moody being relatively position agnostic. Because the reported Thompson signing is expected to be a sign-in trade, the Warriors will be hard-capped at the $178 million first apron. With Melton's one-year, $12.8 million salary, Golden State has approximately $158 million on the books, which is subject to change if they take a player back in the Thompson transaction. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Anthony Milton? Leave your opinion in the comments.